What's going on, everybody? It's Rev. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dawnless, and welcome back to our playthrough of uh, just kind of slowly but surely unlocking the armor and weapons within the game. We're going to be focusing on one particular piece of armor today, and that is the Tragic Echo, an exotic helmet that resurrects you when you die and allows you to deal 100% more damage for 15 seconds. It is seen better days but it is also gotten a buff with the recent exotic changes so uh we need five more dark tail feathers from the shroud so we're going to be heading to the twilight sanctuary i believe the island's called and killing some shrouds the uh goal of today is to craft it up i'm going to show you how to get the tragic echo unlock it and then we're going to uh also in a future video we're going to be unlocking or rather building a build around the tragic echo and the hunger so you guys can expect that later on but let's go ahead and head over to the twilight sanctuary i'm going to be playing the sword go ahead and go over my build for you guys i use the hypothermica sword on the twilight sanctuary just because i like the ability to fight scorchstone hellion even though we are pretty much going exclusively for shroud when i do hunt on this island i like using the frost weapon because i think that scorchstone hellion is the big threat there on that island we have evasive fury and overpower and we have cunning and cunning for a grand total of a spread of cells that i've been using for a majority of my playthrough through here this is kind of like my bread and butter build right now just because i don't have a lot of cells and armor power search to work with so i just try to make do with what i can but let's go ahead and start hunting some shrouds now from the landing point of the twilight islands the tragic echo is actually unlocked at the same map as the hunger the hunger while the hunger is in the cave there uh, and then you hug the right path. We're going to be going up the right side of the island, taking the jump jets up to uh, the uh, the top of the mountain uh, on the right hand side. So what I would probably do, um, hmm, I actually have a idea here. So when you go up the right hand side, there actually is a little jump here that sends you relatively high into the air and you should be able to just glide on over to where it is yeah this is more than enough so if you take this jump jet and then glide over there's this little crow right here and this is the node to unlock the tragic echo and then you go to lady luck and you'll unlock the little breadcrumb to craft the tragic echo over at moira so that's really all you need to do. Very easy. Go up the right hand side, go around back, take the jump jet, glide over to this crow and you're good to go. All you need to do is have access to the Twilight Sanctuary Island. See how lucky we are with shroud spawns. And luckily enough, my first check is uh, here in this pond. I don't necessarily know if um, there's not really a, a quick way up to this area. And because, uh, and I say that because Shroud typically spawns, you know, somewhere randomly, and then you need to find it, and then it usually spawns down at the very first spawn of this uh, thing. We actually need the tail, and that would be a useful thing to remember. I'm going to try to get the KO, and then I'm going to freeze it, and then I'm going to go for the tail. Okay, that did not count at all. That discipline parry did not count at all and tried to discipline the uh, the clone there and that did not work. I guess I'll just freeze it now because it's going to get interrupted and then it's going to be basically just facing me. So might even just be able to cut the tail outright here. Just going back and forth, putting a ton of damage in on it. Should KO here as well. Never mind, it was slowed down way too much that I missed the parry. Whoops. Uh, we're just warming up, that is my excuse. Yep, first first hunt of the day, you know? Okay, tails off, and now we just go in. Alrighty, that's one. And now, I what I was saying is, you know, usually you need to find the spawn point of Shroud, and then it will spawn and kind of like alternate with the uh with the first little spawn area but i'm gonna see if that's actually true because that in my experience that's 
how it's usually gone down. I hear a chest. Gonna get that. For sure. Yep, there it is. Get the KO. I gambled on that. Leg hit to stagger. It was not a wise gamble. The Boreas sprites. We're chilling. Didn't want to risk it with the freeze, so I'm just mainly going for because uh, if I get hit, I just die because I'm disciplined. So I am uh, just going to bank on getting the easy interrupt, and it should be dead here. So long as I don't want to waste Avenging Overdrive, even though it's about to die again. There we go. Sometimes you just know. Sometimes you just know. I am going to run up to the pool area and see if Shroud respawns in the, and we'll just get some like sweet alternating uh, kills here. It's kind of annoying that I need to run all the way up to this area because uh, it is quite, kind of a long run in comparison to the other side of the island, but it is what it is. And as it turns out, it did spawn up here, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and freeze it. That didn't hit me, but I didn't really know if it was going to hit me. Go for an easy stagger here. Boreas sprites make quick work of staggers on the sword, at least. Nice. Perfect pairing like that, like that location. Didn't hit the tail there, but that's all right. It is very close to breaking. I'm gonna do the same thing. Don't really wanna risk getting hit. That's really all that move is really, uh, like if I had more health, I would definitely risk the interrupt, but you know, it's just an easy interrupt. If you use, uh, I forget what that move's called. This one, the, the cutter. A few moments later. It seems I always get the, uh, the shroud high alert on this island whenever I come here, which is very nice. It's probably my favorite event next to uh some of the others i don't know why i potted it up so early just call it we'll call it autopilot normally i do this when i'm like level 15 level 17 uh, we're level 20 we'll just kind of try and cut the tail if we can someone in the comment section said that the uh the tail has more hp than shroud actually does itself and so i want to i want to put that to the test and then if that is true, I'm gonna go for like a sharpened next time and cut the tail if I ever need Shroud Tails again. We shall see. It'll be uh, it'll be a nice experiment. Hello, hitbox? Tail hitbox? There we go, we got Avenging Overdrive. I'm gonna go ahead and parry, Never mind. I don't really have interest in parrying anything that won't allow me to hit the tail. So, uh, cause I need to put as much damage into the tail as I can. Which is looking like it's pretty possible. Based on the amount of damage I'm seeing visibly on the tail, I don't think that the tail has more HP than Shroud, but I would love to be wrong. Go ahead and re-overdrive. Discipline buffs last for a very long time. Oh my goodness, I can't get past it. Hello? <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get by. Ow. I have been uh, one shot. Oh my goodness. It bamboozled me. I just wanted every time the orb goes off, I'm like, all right, I just need to walk into it. So the visual impairment part of the orb goes away. And then I'm like, all right, I'll just pop a potion. And then I get locked into the action and I get jibated. I don't know if that hit the wing there or what. It's so close to coming off though. There we go. Myth 
busted. We can cut the tail of the level 25 shroud. I believe that was tail number four. So uh, now we can just go ahead and secure the kill. Deja vu, never mind. I didn't think it was gonna die there, but it would have been cool. Slowly but surely killing the beast. Should be dead very, very soon. Do have double parries available. A ground slam. Boom. Nice. Another kill. And we got 30 combat merits, which I cannot be upset about. I am still hard strapped for combat merits. It's kind of the only thing gating me out of the uh, Slayer's Path currently. Uh, everything else can kind of just be uh, wait like i can wait until i get the amount of combat merits i need getting all the potions and stuff is good but just gonna focus on getting the uh the weapon power-ups in the like first little section of the slayer's path see if shroud respawns here after the event it's possible that i think that uh a be never mind i was gonna say I, I think it's possible that a behemoth can spawn in the same location after an event but i could be incorrect there last tail cut missing that last hit is making me sad big hit tail cut that should be our last one let's go ahead and I mean, honestly, I could leave, but we'll go ahead and kill the shroud for the uh, the sake. I don't want to cut a tail off and then just leave it alive, you know. I will make use of all of the parts. I pressed V. Is discipline bugged right now? I still have the like. I got hit. Can you cancel with that? Wait. Pause. So the Echo typically has a pretty long cooldown. I need to test this. That thing got destroyed. So we should have all the tails that we need. And the real question is, do I have enough of those Aether Sparks to power surge the item? Let's see, where are you? There you are. Okay, did we get how yeah, okay, we got the exact exact change in terms of the tails. We need one aether heart and we're good on everything else. So we just need an aether heart and then we're good to power surge. See if I have those shards. Do I have them? We have enough. We do in fact have enough. I'm hesitant to do it just because it costs 200, but we're gonna do it for the sake of the video for the content. Go ahead and waste those sparks not efficient don't recommend i always try to keep 100 in the pipe just in case i do a because right now my sword is level 20 and i should reforge that but alas we uh we'll have to hold that l just for the sake of this video let's see we have tragic echo power surge and now we have 100 percent damage when we die and also rage plus three Rage works really well with the hunger, and so that's why I'm going to be going with the Tragic Echo and the hunger build in the future video. But uh, you'll have to keep a lookout for that one because it is not done yet, and I still need to make the build. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one. Like and subscribe, if and use creator code RevyRad if you're so inclined. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.